What's cracking, Josie Garfunkel? Let's learn some shit. So in this video, I'm going to attempt to walk you through the very basic, basic, just brief how to get a trader of your choosing location dress the way you want, selling the shit you want it to be selling. I'm going to show you how to get that part of this done. I'm not going to touch every detail of it. I'm not going to tell you all the settings and everything throughout all the files that we do look at today. But by the end of this, however long this is about to take, I made some coffee. We're going to know and understand how to install this mod and place a trader that's customized. Let's get into it. First things first, you gotta subscribe to it. Yup, I've deleted it all off my shit. We are starting from scratch. Once you have subscribed to it, down here at the bottom of your Steam, it's gonna tell you, hey, complete it. If you don't already have it, you're gonna need the required supporting mods, as you would for any mod. So go ahead and grab that. Once your mod's downloaded, you want to open your launcher and you're going to see that it has been installed. This is how it ends up updating your workshop folder and actually gets onto your PC or however that voodoo works. Anyways, load the mod. Don't. Doesn't matter at this moment. And now let's open our workshop folder. You're going to go down your little path to the common daisy to your workshop. Scroll down, make sure indeed that you have the mod Trader Plus. And we do. Now I'm going to be installing this onto my local server. You will be installing this pretty much the same way via FTP to whatever server you're working with. So we already have this here. We're gonna delete that completely. That way you know it's not on my server. Here's my old config that I saved and took it off my server. That way we're getting a full vanilla experience here. So you're going to right click, copy, right click, paste. Mine always puts them down here at the bottom. But once you have that part, you're going to open your keys folder. You're going to open the mod folder, open the keys folder, right click, copy, never drag from your workshop folder and paste. I already have the key. We'll overwrite it anyway. There. Last thing we need to do, go to your mod, click it so you can get the name there, control C or copy it however, and on your server, you will put that line somewhere in your mods. Rather this be the mod line of your live server, Nitrado server, GTX, however, wherever you put the at mod, to where you're gonna put it. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get rid of all this stuff. We simply need to launch the server one time so it'll develop a config folder. Go ahead and open your launcher. Go down to your servers tab, wherever your LAN server is, I favorited mine. Go ahead and join your server. It's going to prompt you for the mods. Go ahead and select those mods as the new Trader Plus should be added. And we should now end up getting a config folder to generate in our config folder. And now, since we've launched our server, we have a Trader Plus folder inside the config of the server. And this is where our files are going to be. To customize our stuff. Now once you've downloaded the mod, the vanilla setup has these things way up here at the top of the server in Novaya Matrivsk. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Now currently, at least for local server I've noticed, it doesn't generate a price config. Let me go show you what that means. So let's go ahead and open up our Daisy server files scroll down to the config folder or your profiles folder and go down to the trader plus folder that has now generated 
Let's take a look at some things. Now in here, we're missing a couple files to actually make this work. Right now, even the way it comes, the traders are empty. You have no menu. You can't see any items. And what that is, is the trader IDs and the trader price config. So I'm going to open my old one to get my old copies. If you read through the mods description and whatnot, I'm sure it tells you where to obtain these. But currently the mod does not produce these two files, at least for my local server. And we're just going to paste those over here. Now, the banking, we'll touch it real quick. This is just saying, hey, here's how much the max currency is, the messages for your transfers. Uh, do you want to use a credit card, blah, blah, blah. Bunch of features we're not going to go over. The garage config, we'll go over at a later point, but you can store vehicles. Uh, it gets a little wonky if you store a bunch of storage in those vehicles. So... You can set all those things. They're pretty self-explanatory if you just read through them. Again, not going to go in depth. The plus general config. This we will talk about and discuss. This is where we actually place our traders, where the interaction will happen. And we'll go over that here in a bit. The insurance. Again, not going to touch it. It's about cars. You can damage your cars, get your car back, buy your car back. Not even sure how it works myself. It's just a video game. Logging settings. I'm not even going to look at that. I've never even opened that. The safe zone. We'll touch that briefly. We'll go ahead and open it. But essentially, this is where you name one. Whatever you want to name it. You put the basic X and Y that you get off of I survive. The radius and how long it counts down when you leave that radius that you're still safe. Ta-da, safe zone. It can clean up things. You can add extra if you would like to put more items. A uh, helmet of some type that gets dropped a lot. However, you would want to add those. And when you're in the safe zone, you can choose to have a hideout with Trader Plus that puts an armband on you while you're in the safe zone. And you will have a stash. These are blacklisted items for the stash. Again, for multiple entries, put a comma, some more quotes, item name, no comma on the last entry, and list as many as you would like there as well. You can also change the messages that you enter and leave the safe zone, etc., etc. But that's the basics of a safe zone. I'm going to put this back the way it was when I got here. Close that on down. The vehicles config. This is designating basically like a spawnable types would. And saying what goes with that vehicle when it's sold. Pretty self-explanatory. Fill this up the same way. Comma in between entries. No comma on the last one. For the price config, this is what's going to determine how much things sell for, how much they buy for, how many there is, uh, the coefficient of the percentages of your economy. It's got a bunch of different things going on that can really make a great role play or just basic immersive setup based on your economy, XMLs, etc. And that brings us down to the Trader Plus IDs config. To better explain this, we're going to need the use of a folder. It's going to be the Plus database. In there, there's going to be some folders with ID numbers. You guessed it, ID and a number. Which brings us to the IDs config. To better explain this, we're going to need the use of a visual from the database folder. And that's a bunch of ID folders. You guessed it, the ID, the ID number designates the folder. You can create more as I have a few more from my mods that I've set up over time, just playing with stuff. But you will have the basic handful of folders here with the vanilla things going on. Let's take a look at zero real quick. Inside zero is some JSON files, vegetables, packaged food, 
animal parts. All these files are in here as a JSON. And each folder is going to have its own files. You can put the same file in multiple folders to change multiple aspects of things about multiple traders. If you'd like to have different traders do different things. So let's open up one of these category JSON files real quick. In here we have our list of type or class names and a couple numbers. What these numbers are is the stock. And within the general config, you can determine whether or not it restocks on restart or uses percentage. Again, you can read through all the docs. And then the second number is the condition. Uh, zero for pristine. One would mean that it is worn, damaged, three for badly damaged. So we want zero. So we're selling pristine items, even if we are overselling some bones here. But category name, animal parts. And in our ID config, we put that name. Again, comma separating multiple categories. Within these files are your items. Now the license and currencies accepted. Currencies blank means you're using whatever the general config specifies. Over here, the general config. Down here under currencies, the game, or I'm sorry, the mod comes with types and currencies if you would like to use them as you see you can use multiple types and designate multiple items to be valued at whatever you specify it if you want a 50 dollars bill to be 66 dollars, you can make it that uh, there's a bunch of different detailed things you can do license since these licenses exist here you can tell this trader to require the player to have that license I'm not going to get into all that. But for the most part, that's the basic rundown. You specify the currency, specify the categories within the folders or files that tell you what those categories have. Prices, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So down here, this is what we want to look at. These are the ones that come with it as you saw up there at the top of the map. I'm going to simply collapse all but the top one of these, and we're going to get rid of these. We're just going to have one here so I can show you an example here shortly. These are the items that can be hardwired, so to speak, to that area. As you see, they're little pieces of decoration and whatnot. They're using this trader objects set up to put those. Most of us are going to be using dot c dot dze json etc to put our quote trader objects in or our builds rather so when you're putting a trader in you're going to choose the id folder again you're going to go over here you're going to pick your folder whatever categories whatever id you want it to be pick that folder you will make clothes food etc again not getting too detailed but there it is so the name is going to be the class name or type name or Survivor M. Peter. In this case, I think we'll use or is it like this? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out if it loads in or not. And you're going to give that person a name. You can use Peter or name it whatever you want. I'm going to just follow suit. And the role, food trader, whatever trader all right well let's make it all proper capital w and now we need some x some y and some z to use that we're going to use the editor and place a gift box or whatever you want to get your coordinates i'm going to go with the simplistic example of a coastline knowing that right along the coast is only a couple and it will be okay so right up here near Niznoy, right along the coast, some boat docks. Control C to get my coordinates from there. Again, I'm just being super brief here to show an example of the basic setup to get you going so you can more customize it yourself from there. And I happen to know, again, this is only like three or four meters off the ground or above sea level rather. So we're just gonna choose something simple, maybe make it lower than that. 
and the orientation in which you want them to face. Naturally, everything spawned through an event faces north, so in this case, let's 180 and see if we can spin him facing the south. For the close, pretty much the same as you've seen everywhere else throughout this setup. Some quotes, some class names, one, two, three, four, five. I like to put a couple zeros to duplicate me some lines because I know I'm gonna put a hat, a shirt, some pants, some shoes, probably a melee. So let's example that. To make it simple, we will use the vanilla. We will look up hat. So we're just gonna put a beanie on him. Some canvas pants on him. A Chinaris sports shirt. First shoe, some dress shoes. And an ax, all right. So we will have Peter, the whatever trader, with ID three at this position near Niznoy along the coast, wearing whatever his child dressed him in that day. But let's save these files. Let's load this local server up and go see our new trader. All right, so here we are at the old trader. Nothing here. We've deleted the objects, deleted traders and let's see if we can fly down here using some admin tools we went to Niznoy so we will keep up with that and fly down here it was right about there along this dock line oh and it looks like we got a trader here with some dress shoes, some canvas pants, a Chinara shirt, a beige beanie, an axe on his back. And it looks like file number or folder ID three was the ammo. So, all right. So there we have a trader. So pretty simple, right? You choose the folder for whatever you want it to be selling. You choose the class name for whatever you want to be standing there, NPC. Can, uh, Vending machine, whatever you would like to put there. Vending machine just wouldn't specify clothes, right? Name it whatever you want, whatever trader. Again, your coordinates, orientation, and you got a trader. So there we have the basics of Trader Plus. Uh, what the ID folders are to tell what the categories are, to tell what the types are so the trader knows what to be identified as what they're going to wear, where they're going to stand, where they're going to be. Get a thumbs up from us, Trader Plus. It's the way to go. Well, I hope that was brief enough. I hope it was descriptive enough. I hope you learned some shit. That's going to be it for this one. I'm out.